I am Grandpa Gary and I just got here and today I got my Arrows Bearcat out here for another flight. I'm super excited because it's been quite a while since I've had this airplane out to fly. We're going to fly it on a 4S 2200 Spectrum battery and uh, hopefully uh, it flies real good like it used to. I didn't go back to see how it flew the last time with my videos and uh, I don't remember anything being wrong so I'm Got my fingers crossed, everything's good. Let's get this thing in the air and see how it does. Go one click on the flaps. I'm out here at my local club. I'm the only one here now. And uh, so I'm on the other side of the runway, that way the sun's behind me. And uh, let's get this thing in the air. Oh, had a little bit of a turn there. Gear going up, flaps going off, going into low rates. Looks like it's wanting to roll to the, the right just a hair. So we'll make an adjustment. All right, let's try it again. It's flying a little light. I do have the 2200 as far forward as I can get it. All right, let's bring it back around. See how it does into the wind here. It looks a little straighter now. That's basically no stick. I am correcting just a touch, but I mean, the wind is going at an angle across the runway. Again, I am flying in low rates. This thing has a lot of control if you want it, but it looks more scale in the low rates, so that's what I'm doing. Looking good, super fun. Have the tank on there. You can see it wiggling just a little bit. Oh, right over top of my head. I'm wondering if I need more on my gains for the AS3X. Find that knob and turn it up just a little bit. There we go. That might help just a little. We'll see if it causes the wiggle from too much. Flying nice and low. Yeah, I might have went too high. Turn it back down to just under half. I need to get the gains captured on these airplanes. So many of them, I just got it on the knob for on the fly adjustments, but today's not the day to capture because of it being windy. I, don't, I can't tell if the wind's causing uh, the, the wiggle or if it's the gains. roll out there we bring it down here into the wind we'll get a loop in got to be careful not to make it too tight because of all the control I have we'll take it up and we'll just bring it on over it's gonna be a little bit off center but not too bad in fact I was able to bring it back to center by the bottom of the loop as we come over the top here keep that tail in line you can see how much the wind is pulling it sideways I'm trying to make sure I don't stall it in these turns although the Bearcat is similar to the P47 and it's stalling capability. Uh, it's still Warbird, so it still still could. I mean, it's not like 
the more sporty warbirds that seem to stall if you slow down in them turns pretty quick and no notice <laughs> but the uh, bearcat and the p47 seem to be pretty reliable and uh, as long as you got a little bit of speed you're probably okay I love this club the space they have here at this state park is amazing of course when there's people here nobody flies from this side of the runway uh, but since I got here late everybody flies in the morning so the sun's behind them and uh, I got out here nice and late just as people were packing up so I was the only one out here figure I can stand anywhere I want As long as I'm safe and not flying over anybody, I should be okay. Get those gear down. I'm gonna bring it back around and see if we can get a decent landing. I don't know, there's enough wind. I don't think I'm gonna try to use any flaps on the landing. There we go, we're down. Want to try and protect it from going sideways. Those retracts will rip right out of the wing. And uh, super happy with that. Um, guys, I gotta tell you, this airplane's not available anymore, but it is an awesome airplane if you find it in uh, swap meet somewhere. Bearcat was a lot of fun today, guys. I'm just glad that I was able to get out and fly today. Man, this airplane. I just love it. It looks so cool with that orange stripe for the Navy uh, paint scheme. And uh, yeah, just being able to get out in the middle of the winter is so much fun here in Ohio. And um, I'm just so blessed. I appreciate all your guys' support. Until next time, I'm Grandpa Gary, and I just got here.